Hey everybody, welcome to Winston's Quarantine Kitchen. Today I'm making honey sesame chicken. So let's start by showing you the basics. Here I have chicken breast that's been cut up into thick, into thick chunks. chunks. They've basically been seasoned with salt, pepper, pepper, garlic pepper, and a little pinch of cayenne pepper. Um, here I have for the flour, I have a basic um, flour with cornstarch, a little bit of parsley. For the veggies, that's how we make with the mixed veggies. I have here chopped red, green, and orange peppers with a little bit of uh, yellow onion. Some broccoli that I'm going to air fry and pineapples for the for our preparance. For the sauce, I have, of course, honey, soy sauce, rice vinegar, sesame oil, cornstarch for thickness, brown sugar, sesame seeds, of course, and diced garlic. So it starts by showing you the next step. So what I'm gonna do is take this cover off. Take some of this chicken. chicken so guys I'm gonna put this in the tray and get the next set up so once I finish with this I'll show you guys the next step all right guys welcome back um, as you can see the chicken has been uh, completely coated in flour they've been separated and I'm about to have going on right now two, two um, fry pans going on with not too much oil like a little bit little oil to cover it so I'm gonna start putting them in of course I put them in no presentation side now because of pieces it strips but I do put them in continuously counterclockwise. Making sure to leave room between each piece so it can fully cook. And what I'm gonna do is just basically let them get a nice color on them, not let them cook internally fully, maybe get them to a little to nice temperature and then I'm gonna finish them off. I'm gonna finish them off in the oven. All right, guys. So I'm gonna let this cook, and when it's ready to go in the oven, I'll show you guys the next step. All right, guys. Welcome back. The chicken has been fully cooked. And excuse me, almost fully cooked. It's basically got a nice, beautiful brown color coating on it. It's about tempting at 135, and I wanted to get to the temperature of 165 or higher for proper cooking temperatures. So what I'm going to do is finish this off in the oven at temperature of 385 for about 16 minutes, and I'm going to let that cook. So now let's work on the other portion. Here I have two pans going again. Here I'm going to put this pan right here. I'm going to have a little bit of oil. I'm going to Saute my um, onions and peppers. I'm also going to come over here, spray down my air fryer, put some broccoli in here, and go to my air fryer. Three eighty five for about. Eight minutes, and that should be good. Oh. I'm gonna let that cook. In the meantime, let's start working on the actual sauce. So here we have another hot pan with a little butter in it. We're gonna add garlic. I know it's cut out garlic, but I love garlic. Next, we're going to add the rice wine vinegar. So add the sesame oil. The box of tomato. The soy sauce. And of course, certainly not almost that almost in there. Honey. Thank you. 
one of the last key ingredients is some brown sugar. And to thicken it all up, I have a little cornstarch. And the best way that for cornstarch to work, you add a little cold, mix it with a little bit of cold water. That way, when it goes into the into the into the sauce, it hits it, it hits it like a boom. I don't want to say bam, but like a boom. And just stir this up. And what I'm basically going to do now with this, this is going to sit here and bubble up till it fully thickens up and I get a nice beautiful coat on it. So I'm going to leave that alone for a sec. Check on these veggies. I'm going to let this cook a little bit longer. If I want them a little, I want them, I want, I want them a little translucent with a little bit of flair. So once I finish when this is ready, I'll show you guys the next step. All right, guys, welcome back now to the final step. Um, the sauce has basically been boiled out to where it's like, has a nice consistency, where it has a nice hole to it. That's what I was looking for. Um, the chicken has now fully been cooked to actually 170, so I'm satisfied with that. The broccoli has been fully cooked in the air fryer. The peppers and onions were trans made translucent. And as you see, I have my pineapple that I didn't cook them. I just wanted them straight cold like that. So here, Basically what the final product looks like, almost. All it's needing now is the sauce over it. Parsley. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Honey gar honey garlic chicken. Thanks for watching. If you like this and you want something for yourself, remember to click the link in the bio.